Hi, I'm Stephanie with Hobie, and I'm here to help get you started with your new Mirage Eclipse. This video will be helpful with all Eclipse models. We'll run you through the different parts of the board and how to get you up and running so you can get out on the water fast. First, I like to start with the rudder. It may be helpful to turn the board upside down. This is the rudder for the Mirage Eclipse. This is the top where the bungee loop will go into, and this is the bottom, the hook that'll go into the rudder track. This is the rudder track. Take the bungee and pull up. Then take the hook on the rudder and place into the rudder track. Lift the loop and place into the groove. The Eclipse has a kick up rudder, so it will retract against the board in case it hits anything under the water and deploy back into position when you're ready to keep moving. To install the handlebar, line the bar with the circular base here. Then turn the locking mechanism to lock the handlebar in place. Next, you're gonna connect the steering lines. You're gonna take the two loops here and place them over the two small spheres coming out of the handlebar. Gray to gray and black to black. Make sure you don't cross these lines because it will add extra tension on your steering lines. Even though these levers here look like brakes, they're actually your steering handles. If you wanna go right, squeeze right. If you wanna go left, squeeze left. These levers control the rudder at the back of your board. You can check the tension by squeezing one handle and watching the rudder head move left to right. Instinctively, you may wanna pull on both at once, like bike brakes, but you don't wanna do that with the Eclipse. Just pull one lever at a time to steer your way left or right. Should you ever need to adjust the tension on your steering lines, this is where you can do it. All you need is a Phillips head screwdriver. To adjust the height of your handlebar, locate the lever just above the reflective detail on your handlebar. Open the lever and then lift the handlebars up. Find a position that's comfortable for your height. To secure your handlebar height, adjust the thumb screw in back, then close the lever to keep your handlebar steady. The Eclipse Dura Series features a fixed handlebar, so you won't have to worry about this step. Every other part of the Eclipse setup is the same for the two style boards. This is your Mirage Drive. It's what you're gonna use to move forward in the water. This is the front and this is the back. To install the Mirage Drive, flip both pedals forward. Next, you need to remove the cassette plug. Remove the cassette plug by moving the click and goes back towards the end of the board. Then pull out the cassette plug. Lower the Mirage Drive evenly and slowly into the Mirage Drive well. You'll hear a click from the click and goes once it's installed properly. Check and make sure your Mirage Drive is locked by wiggling it a little bit. Then flip your pedals back down onto the board. To navigate shallow water, push one foot down to bring the fins against the bottom of the board. You can also use the bungee to secure the pedal down and to keep the fins flat. You can also use small flutter strokes to navigate shallow water. These are just the basics to get you up and running on the water. You'll also find an owner's manual included. Here you'll find product registration, warranty, and the answers to any other questions you may have. Also included with your Mirage Eclipse is our parts and accessories guide for any additions you may wanna to make to your board. Some of our favorite accessories are our plug-in cart and our board bag cover. For long-term storage and to keep your board looking great and new, keep out of direct sunlight and do not store in the water. You can refer to your owner's manual for other storage techniques. The Mirage Eclipse can also be used as a traditional stand-up paddleboard. Locate the black thumb screw inside your owner's manual. Take the black thumb screw and insert it into the hole on the top of the rudder head. Thread the screw into place to lock the rudder, turning it into a fin. 
take your cassette plug. Flip the pedals forward and put it into the Mirage Drive well. Check again that your click and goes are locked and in place. The cassette plug will make a flat surface on the bottom of your board. This will reduce drag and help your SEP perform better. Disassembly is quick and easy. Just remove the handlebar, the Mirage Drive, and the rudder. To remove the Mirage Drive, flip the pedals forward again. Locate the click and goes on the left and right of the Mirage Drive well. Push them towards the back of the board. Then slowly and evenly lift the Mirage Drive out of the well. Thanks for taking the time to watch our Eclipse Quick Start. We hope you feel confident and ready to get out on the water. If you have any other questions, feel free to head to our website for more product information or reach out to us on Facebook or Instagram with any questions. Have a hobie day.